yes, reading the reading test at time can be a problem for a lot of people. And time yeah. is an important part of the test because the, the reading you do when you're a university student is very different to the reading you do when you're reading for leisure or for pleasure, for example. Yeah. Um, you can't possibly read every word in detail when you're doing research for an assignment, for example, at university, or even when, it, when you're reading as a part of your professional life. Um, so there are specific reading skills that you need to develop in order to read widely without having to read every word in detail. And those are the same reading skills that you need to use in the test. So time is part of the way that we force you to, read, uh, to use those reading skills in the test. And you also need to use skim reading. Um, yeah. uh, that's to check the relevance of what you have found, to make sure it's relevant to the question that you're trying to answer. Then you also need to, to develop the skill of reading in detail, just that part of the passage that you have found. Um, and that will help you to answer the questions. So the reading test questions force you to use all of those skills. Well, yes, you can, but they are organised in the most logical way so that uh, to help you use your time efficiently in the test. Yeah. So actually, the order they're written would be the most efficient way for you to answer them in. So order is significant when it comes to practising for the test and answering the questions. Yes, it's important to remember that you have three separate sections to complete within the hour, but you also have to transfer your answers during that time. Yeah. But also remember that it's a test that goes all the way up to band nine. So unless you're a band nine candidate, there will be some questions that you can't answer. Yeah. So don't be afraid to leave those questions and come back to, the, to them at the end if you have time. Yes, a lot of people ha have a problem with the writing test. Yeah. Um, the most important thing is to remember to only spend 20 minutes on the first uh, writing task question. Yeah. Um, a lot of people um, don't do that. They spend far too much time on, on writing task one. Mm. One of the reasons for that is that they forget to summarise the information and instead they, they describe every single detail. Um, it's really important to spend 40 minutes on writing task two. And if you spend too long on writing task one, you will run out of time for writing task two. So that means you won't have time to carefully plan or carefully check your answer at the end. And it's important to remember that writing task two is work double the marks of writing task one. So that's why you sh should spend double the time on writing task two. Okay. Some people actually start with writing task two to help them to remember to spend all that time on it and then go back to writing task one. What's important to remember is that just like when you're writing at university, you have to decide first on the main ideas that you want to get across and then make sure that you make those main points in your essay or in your summary. Thank, Thank you, you, Pauline. Thanks.